howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Got a quick video for you today and it's gonna involve steel tongue drum and uh, I'm using my vibe drum here. Um, I've done some previous videos about steel tongue drums so make sure you check out the playlist that I have with those. Um, but you can do this with pretty much any steel tongue drum. So this is just a really simple technique that I think anybody can do to get you started. And what you need to do, and I'm gonna go ahead and use a mallet for this video because um, I think it's a little easier to see what I'm doing. So what you're gonna do here is take your steel tongue drum and pick two notes, and I'm gonna call these your bass notes. And I'm gonna use this note and this note. And if you have music theory, uh, that's actually a fifth or a dominant, but it doesn't really matter. You could use any two notes you want. I could use this one and this one. Doesn't really matter. Just pick two notes that sound good to your ears. And I'm gonna call those your bass notes, all right? Now we're gonna pick two accent notes. And for my accent notes, I'm gonna pick this one and this one. So you can hear those all sound good together. They've all really nice ringing together. And that's all you need. Let's change the camera angle here and take a look at how you're gonna play this. Okay, so here we have our steel tongue drum. And remember these two are our bass notes and this one and this one are our accent notes. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with the two bass notes and just using my right hand here, and again, I'm doing this with the mallets, but you could just as easily do it with your fingers if you'd rather. I'm just gonna alternate between my two bass notes, just nice and slow. Just create a nice droning rhythm. Now in the space between the two bass notes, I'm gonna put an accent note and I can do it before or after the second note. Or I can mix them in. And just start creating patterns like that. And then at any point, if you sort of get lost or you get tripped up, just go straight back to your. And you can do that just, like if I just keep doing this, it sounds good. And then once you're comfortable with that, where you can kind of start going between those two bass notes and alternating your accent notes, then every so often, just hit a couple extra notes in kind of a fill pattern and then drop right back to your bass notes. And I'll show you what that sounds like. Then do. Another one. Doesn't really matter. Just add a couple more notes and then drop right back to those bass notes. Another technique there, every once in a while hit two tongues at the same time. So just a real easy way to experiment and at any point you just drop back to this. So there you have it folks, just a quick little video on something fun you can do with a steel tongue drum to get you started. Um, it's great pattern because it's so simple and you can do it for like two minutes and just kind of get the feel for it. Or you can sit there for an hour and just keep doing it. It's just zoning. It just kind of can carry on as long as you want it to. So heck of a lot of fun, neat little technique that I stumbled across. Wanted to share it with all of you. Now, if you haven't seen my video called How Much Should I Spend on a Steel Tongue Drum, please check that out. I'll link it in the description for you. And uh, that isn't just about prices, it's talking about why there are so many different types of steel tongue drums and what they do and what you need. Because, you know, don't go out and buy a $300 drum if what you need is a $30 drum because you're going to be disappointed. There's reasons for, for all of them. So make sure you check out that video if you haven't already. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.